Squamish District Councillors spent the day behind closed doors. The private meeting came after a provincial agency ordered this floating hotel be deployed to House Sound so it can house wood fiber LNG workers. The district has not yet issued a permit for the flotel to be there. We're still trying to figure out exactly what this means. Local environmental advocate Tracy Saxby among those taken aback by the order. It was made by BC's Environmental Assessment Office to Wood Fiber LNG, which is required to house its workers on the old cruise ship at its project site near Squamish. But in May, District Council voted against issuing a permit, citing safety and environmental concerns. The boat is moored off site. A recent inspection found the vast majority of workers are currently living in unauthorized locations, including hundreds at a large work camp in Gibsons and dozens in Squamish. They're ordered to be on the flotel by Friday. People like Saxby fear the province is overstepping local government. Our community has a right to ask questions of wood fiber LNG and to make sure that this project and the floating work camp have full public oversight and public consultation. District Council later met in the day publicly, revealing that wood fiber LNG withdrew its permit application, telling the district it was no longer necessary given the provincial order. The mayor and council disagree. If the province were effectively to try to supersede us on this, there are other mechanisms with which they could do that. And an order by the Environmental Assessment Compliance Enforcement Branch um, specifically is not that. Squamish residents are mixed on the Flotel saga. I think it just destroys trust in the system. If there was any left to begin with, which there probably wasn't. Not enough places for work to work and people have to live somewhere, so it means it's got to be done. Looks like it's on its way here, whether the council likes it or not. District leaders vow they still have a say on whether the flow tell ends up on these waters and are considering their next steps. John Hernandez, CBC News, Squamish.